So uh, I'm going to present uh, Extensor, which is a fast ND array uh, library in C++, actually. So maybe you think I'm wrong here, but I'm not, and I'm going to explain you why. I'm uh, Wolf, and uh, I work at Quantstack in Paris. We are a small group of um, four, four to six people uh, working on Jupyter uh, and uh, lots of Python libraries, as, as well as uh, a couple of C++ libraries. And uh, I hope uh, what I'm showing you right here uh, shocks you a little bit, because uh, what you're seeing is Jupyter, but it's actually running an interactive uh, C++ interpreter called Kling. So if you uh, were always dreaming of this and just use Python because uh, you haven't had that, uh, you, you know, you can switch back to C++. It's wonderful. You've got a lot of uh, great static types, etc. But what I'm actually showing you here is uh, Xtensor. And uh, you can see that I created an X array of doubles, which is basically the equivalent of an ND array uh, in Num the ND array of NumPy. And uh, as you can see here, you, um, yeah, I just put a bunch of numbers in there, and I can see them in the Jupyter notebook. I can run functions on them, just like I would do with np.sign uh, here, and I get a result. And I can do more complex stuff like this crazy function. Um, and what's cool about this is that with C++ we can do a couple of tricks that's called template meter programming, so that this is not actually evaluating a function when I do the auto trick here. Almost looks like Python, no? And uh, when I print the actual type of this, it's something really crazy. Uh, and you uh, would not want to type that, so that's why I use auto. But what it is, it's a lazy function. It does not evaluate any temporaries. And when you call evaluation into a container, that's when the machinery starts, and you get a really optimized uh, compressed loop without any temporaries. Or you can also uh, just evaluate one single element of this function without evaluating the rest. So that can be really useful if you have large data sets, et cetera. And you can uh, run a bunch of uh, cool functions that we basically copied from NumPy because we really uh, try to stay close to the API. Or you can do something like random numbers. Um, so we have this big, uh, super big uh, NumPy cheat sheet where you have basically one-to-one -one translations from NumPy to C++ or Xtensor. And we have a lot of other stuff like uh, NumPy uh, format support, image sound, uh, sound uh, linear algebra with plus and so on. And uh, I'm going to go a bit fast. And so the, the, the main thing why I'm here is to tell you about our awesome support for binding C++ to Python. I don't know if you guys know about PyBind 11, but it's seriously one of the nicest uh, libraries out there for interacting with native machine code from Python. And we're using PyBind 11 to make it possible to create your numeric uh, um, algorithms in C++ and then seamlessly bind them to um, Python so that you can write them once and uh, have them run at full speed and then use them from the comfort of uh, Python. So here I'm defining just two functions. One is called sum of signs and the other one is called image algo. And what it does is just like it's, uh, for example, the image algo is just taking an image and a filter integer and then um, broadcasts an operation over the image. So something you would easily do uh, with Python. And now I need to switch the notebook to a Python one. Here's Python. I show you it's really Python. I created a small binding with, um, with PyBind 11 here, where I define the sum of signs function and I define the image algo function. I bind them to a function pointer in C++ anyways. And then I compile this. Now this takes a while because compilation always, yeah, it's not super fast. But now it's compiled. I can Im import a module that's called xPython here. I can run the sum of signs function on an MP uh, array range which is an actual ND array, and this does not copy any data, etc. And then I can run uh, some stuff with images here. And uh, now I have two logos overlaid. Wow, looks great. I love it. <laughs> and now I'm calling my image algo function with this thing, and what my image algo is doing is actually it's uh, broadcasting a filter. So I only filter the green channel here. If I do this, I only filter the blue channel. So what I can see is seamless, uh, basically, um, ch um, yeah, NumPy arrays in C++. And uh, now for some crazy craziness, you can also have widgets in C++. So if you're really thinking about switching, 
you know, this is fully interactive.